हेलो एवरीवन सो आई हैव सीन दिस लाइक इन द इन द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स वेयर पीपल एक्चुअली वांट टू यूज चैट जीपीटी पी टू जनरेट कोड नो ऑफ कोर्स चैट जीपीटी कैन जनरेट कोड व्हिच इज ग्रेट बट आई डोंट रियली थिंक इट इज एवर गोइंग टू और एटलीस्ट राइट नाउ इट इज एवर गोइंग टू रिप्लेस वॉट यू आर डूइंग मे बी इन योर जॉब ना ऑफकोर्स आई एम आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टाइम और अ मेजर पोर्शन ऑफ वॉट आई डू इज बेसिकली राइटिंग स्क्रिप्ट एंड दैट इज बेसिकली फॉर जी डा डेटा सेंटर यूजिंग ग्रूवी गुड थिंग अबाउट चैट जी पी टी इज एंड एफ ट्राइड इट इन द पास्ट फॉर जनरेटिंग कोड एंड आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो बिकॉज If you are someone who is thinking that you might know Jira administration, let us say on data center, maybe you have been working as a Jira admin, and uh, if as part of your job or maybe you want to apply for a job where uh, there is a requirement to write scripts, and you already have access to Chat GPT, maybe you know the paid version, or maybe something similar. because there are so many things you know these days i think there is also gemini from google and cloud 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 i, I guess dot ai now chat gpt can generate code for you but use chat gpt to maybe uh, i mean the way i i i use chat gpt or i have used little bit in the past i guess one year one year ish it's it's like a search I don't rely on Chat GPT, Chat GPT to give me the exact answer. So today I thought I'll probably show you, and uh, I'm making this video to tell you that uh, if you want to do something with script, you know, then you need to learn Groovy. You need to have that background. Uh, of course, I'm not really saying that you cannot learn it. You can learn it, but uh, you can't really just you know bypass that learning phase, right? So let us say you have a requirement where, uh, and I'm going to do it for Jira Data Center, and let us see how Chat GPT will respond. let us say you have a requirement where uh, you need to create a new jira issue of type uh, bug and uh, when you are creating it you also want to ensure that uh, the due date is uh, after 7 days from creation 7 working days and uh, so i'll just now start write, writing write a groovy script to create a bug and due date should be 7 working days from now basically today right so this is a uh, like one of the requirement what else you also want to say that prior a priority is a blocker so it is a blocker and you want to add a label or add the following labels um maybe the label number one is the uh, um urgent right <laughs> maybe you want to say production and you you're saying client uh facing whatever also update a custom field called as uh, region as re re region is a single select list as uh, us so as you can see even to tell chat gpt what you what you need to do you need to be a bit more clear about you know what you're trying to do and uh, write a groovy script do it for the the script should work on jira data center version 9.4 I'll copy it because we we might need to modify it. If you press enter, you will get some you know response. And uh, ah, so 
immediately it is telling us that we need to use uh, REST API. Maybe I should have uh, specified to use Java API. So, okay, so let us see <laughs> if this is, to be honest, this will work. So you can see here that it is first calculating the uh, working days. So if you if you're using this, and if you don't, if you're not even trying to use the whole code as it is, you can still get something like this, like get working days from now. And uh, you're basically saying here that okay, exclude. Uh, uh, I mean, you 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 can see here that the code is actually excluding Saturday and Sunday, which is fine. And then we have this issue data where we are we are. Uh, Passing summary, description, issue type, okay, name is equal to Jira issue type, okay, no, fine, no, no, not a problem. Labels, okay, label, I can see labels. And custom field, X, X, and then we are making a post call. Okay, so let us do one thing. Um, this the, the script should work on Jira Data Center version 4 and uh, use Java API. Let us see if we are able to use Java API instead of uh, REST API. So, yeah, now we have the correct code, or I mean, I should say the code that I was actually looking for because it is now going to use uh, Java API, which will work uh, uh, maybe in Scriptino or uh, I mean, maybe some other app, but uh, you can see here that, you know, the, the part where it is calculating get working days from now, it is uh, actually, it, I mean, the same, right? And then we are using issue service and uh, you can see here that uh, we have like different, I mean, this is actually a right, like, I mean, all the variables that are, are there on top and the region custom field is using uh, camel case, uh, the project name. Okay, so I think we have to specify the project name somewhere on top. So it is uh, definitely a variable, good, I like that. And uh, we are checking if the priority is there or not, then custom field, and then we are using input parameters and we are also doing validation i was actually hoping that you know because normally when i write code to create something in jira i prefer uh, using validation like that if, if it is valid then proceed maybe when you are trying to create a new issue even though you have passed all the required parameters based on your understanding but maybe there is something which is missing so if, if you do something like a validation result it will tell you that if there is a field which is missing and you can also return those errors right so this is good so this code is correct now the thing is um if you write this code if you paste this code this will work but as you can see you have to be even to use something like chat gpt you have to tell chat gpt what exactly you're looking for and this code will work most likely i mean based on my experience looking at it because i do this every day uh, and of course you have all the nice variables defined on top which you can uh, modify i want to also write one more code so uh write a groovy code to fetch using jira java apis to fetch all the custom fields in in jira data center along with uh, the custom field type let us see if this works and uh, maybe i want to you know write a script to do some cleanup on a regular basis and uh, the moment i saw custom field manager i, I know that uh, this will definitely work so we can see here that uh, we we are going to basically we are using custom field objects using custom field manager of course and then uh, for each custom field or, or basically for this particular collection we are going to iterate and then uh, we are going to fetch the name and then we are also going to fetch the type and uh, maybe we want to dump it somewhere in a csv maybe maybe what i want to do is uh, i want to also and uh, dump the output in a csv I mean, of course, instead of doing print, I mean, we can do print, but maybe we can do print. I mean, I think the even the, the previous output was correct because it was anyways using print. Also, in this case, it is writing to a CSV file, which is even better. But this file will be 
saved somewhere on the server maybe in your home directory and okay this is normally what i do whenever i have to create a custom field or any text file text based file i just you know create a new file and then uh, write it so this is good so yeah uh, as you can see you can definitely use chat gpt but uh, in real world you first need to figure out the requirements and uh, in in real world scen scenario uh, real world use cases you will never really be able to uh, do something i mean depending upon the requirement but usually it is something a bit more you know complex and uh, you need to know what exactly you are looking for and of course the code that you are trying to generate don't copy and paste and run it never run it of course always on do it on your local instance or staging environment or dev environment but uh, <clears throat> but what we need to do here is uh, we also need to learn how to modify it because the moment you even if the requirement is simple even even if you are able to solve a problem right now you will also need to you know modify it in future so i don't really think uh, or, or don't be under this impression that chat gpt will solve all, all your problems when it comes to script runner of course this is applicable for other technologies but i'm talking about jira data center writing groovy scripts so yeah okay i think that is it that is all i wanted to talk about and show you in this video yes you can use chat gpt but also learn how to code that is it bye bye